Caesarea, otherwise known as Caesarea, and this is the Bird's Mosaic Mansion. This is an intact, um, largely intact mosaic, and it's beautiful. It was the floor of a, a wealthy um, family's home, and you can see behind me, I'm going to show you, come let's see the mosaic flooring. The yes. foyer. <laughs> Here it is, just waiting to be uh, admired out in the open. The colors and the artistry of it is just beautiful. But the part that captured my heart is over here. different types of birds and uh, they repeat 12 times so it's it's just a beautiful and you know they've got pelican and they have peacock they have flamenco sorry I was looking at the jaguar eating the deer <laughs> they have quail or grouse just all of these different uh, beautiful birds One of the things I like about it the most is the individuality of each bird. Even though it's uh, the same shape, they have slightly different colorings. So you'll find one white peacock, and then you'll find uh, peacocks with different colors on it. So it's just, a, or you'll find some peacocks that are intentionally lighter than others. Other peacocks that are, um, or flamingos that are, that are darker pink than the others. A roadrunner. So this house dates to, is it the second century? I thought it said the sixth, but we'll have to check that out. Or in the six hundreds. There's was a bear. Destroyed. There's Pumbaa. I'm sorry, huh? it was destroyed? I think they said it was destroyed around 600 AD. Probably some sort of jackal. See, the mosaic continues along. But let's get back to the birds. <laughs> well, I've just been enjoying the beauty of this place. I can't imagine how much it would have cost or how wealthy you would have had to have been to commission a whole floor of birds. Well, you know, my theory would, would uh, definitely include the question of whether or not this was a tile merchant or artist. There's a lion. And the mosaics are just beautiful. Probably pomegranate tree. I'm not sure what that one would have been. Kind of bristly backed. Looks like it's got hooves. Well, it's definitely a male. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make sure you got that part. And then here's another bear. There's like a, a horse. There's an elephant in here somewhere, isn't there? Yes, there's an elephant up here. There's another big creature right there. We don't know what that is. An elephant. What are some of the most intact birds here? Little quail. What's that little small winged guy? And then not only did they have a beautiful house that was a two-story house, over to the left, you can't see it, but in those bushes 
is what's left of a freshwater pool. Now the view from here is incredible. You can see the, the sea from here. So they would have had a really beautiful view and they had a pool to go swimming in. So definitely gives you some inspiration for your next home makeover, right? wandered into another section of this historic site and there's pieces of the mosaic from from the bird floor uh, we're right here near the Roman aqueduct in, in Caesarea and look pieces of the mosaic pieces of the mosaic that's plaster and look at this one so I am gonna take this piece and I'm gonna put it back where it originally came from no way of knowing where that is but I'm sure we could just pick a spot and be like dunk I mean that's one two three that's seven pieces of intact mosaic where do you think it would have gone hon well there are some all white pieces toward the center right here look looks like something's missing here no you're right this is more white this is a whiter piece. Uh, it still has plaster on the bottom. So we're going to have to find an indention to put it in. I think that spot over there will work. Or maybe put one of these. This is under there, but... Little happy mosaic. Eh, can't quite get it to fit. Let's try this one. There we go. But a happy little mosaic. Back in. There we go. Doesn't really fit. <laughs> Actually, it fits better over here. <laughs> Make up your mind already. Oh, there we go. Look. That'll have to One of the things I've enjoyed the most about Israel, you know, as far as the physical issues concerning is Israel, has been the Mediterranean diet, the wonderful foods they have here. And um, the hospitality is overwhelming. You know, you don't go into somebody's home or a lot of times their place of business without being offered a little cup of Turkish coffee or a little cup of tea. So the highest insult is if you have left somebody's home being hungry. So there's like an endless supply of these wonderful little salad dishes, all kind of.
produce and veggies. Mm. So you can make sure to mm. get all of your hydroxy tyrosol in olives. And the olive oil is all kind of wonderful colors of mint salad. Tahini, carrots, cabbage, pickled cabbage. And this is just a beginner. This is before we even, all we're doing, we're ordering the equivalent of what? Like a, like a combo kebab. meal? Chicken kebab. Right. But like if we were in the States, what we're paying for this is almost the same as if we went to McDonald's to get two meals. Right? Except the difference is this is real. Fast. Real food. Right. A little bit of Israel into your diet. <laughs> Looks like there's a piece of this Italian or, the, or this Malek stone right here. I don't know if you can see this. If you hit, if you hit the tilt on it, there you go. So this is very much like this. part of. Never mind. That's Chinese Malek <laughs> stone, <laughs> styrofoam. <laughs> so never mind that piece of useless historical information. We will continue with our journey. <laughs> so love is a theory, a philosophy, an idea, a word, but it's also a sound, and this is the sound. Yeah, so what I did is I used it as a rhythm because it only has a few letters, and then I made up um, a melody to go with it. Exactly. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> <laughs>